This is a short video to show how to manage SolidWorks toolbox configurations within DDM. The first thing that we need to do is we're going to go into the toolbox okay, and we can open it through this and say configure. Okay, uh, we don't need that open anymore so let me just chop to the toolbox. So the first thing that we need to set is on this third page we need to decide that we want to create configurations of parts not individual parts. There is a separate video that shows you how to manage toolbox parts within DDM where each part is its own file. Okay so this one we want configurations. If I then go back into my toolbox the example that I'm going to use is for structural steel and I'm going to base it on this uh, angle section here. Okay, so this is my angled section. Uh, what I've done is I've gone into the sizes and I've reduced the number of options available here just to make the video shorter. Uh, obviously you can step through all of these if you want. So I've limited it to the 6 inch angle only. The other thing that you need to do is create a custom property here and I've created one called description because this is what is mapped using the DDM CAD parameter mapping tool so that the attributes between SOLIDWORKS and DDM are transferred on a bi-directional basis. Okay, so the next thing is, uh, as you can see, in fact I've got this pre-populated, let me remove these so I can show you how to do this again because when you first create this description field it would normally be blank so I should have done this, okay, likewise with this column as well. So what you're faced with uh, out of the box is this, with your extra attribute. Now over here on the right hand side we've got the ability to export the data from this family table uh, into uh, an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, I'm going to replace the one I've been working on previously. So if I go to my file system I can now open this spreadsheet and what I'm trying to do here is create a, a more readable uh, understandable description so it's angle section. Now if we take the description column and we're going to format the column so it's a general type field what I can now do is I can now say this field equals and I'm going to concatenate the G6 comma, double quote, space, double quote, comma, and uh, D6, close bracket. So this has now given me a, a more understandable uh, description rather than just the standard configuration name. Okay, that didn't work because what I should have done was drag that down. Okay, so it's now finished. So I'm going to save my spreadsheet away, uh, come out of there, and if I go back to my toolbox, I can re-import the data from the spreadsheet, double click and it pulls in my information like this. So the next step is we're going to go back to SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to drop into the toolbox and I'm going to bring this angle section into my uh, uh, session and here I have uh, the set of configurations. Okay, So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a local save as because I want to save this into my working uh, folder rather than in the default toolbox location because I don't want to overwrite the standard toolbox. Okay so now that I've got the default configuration on the screen I can go to the PDM integrator menu and I can save this configuration. I'm going to do the drop down I've got my auto numbering assigned to just give me the next sequential number and this is RSA angle, in fact I'm going to call this angle section RSA to BSI. Okay, and I save that away to the database. This is just the confirmation to say that it's been done and it's been saved. Now at this point in time what I want to do is I can uh, change my tree display because I do want to show uh, descriptions in here as well. Okay. So if I now go to the PDM integrator menu, I can save all configurations. And what this is going to do is going to step through each configuration one at a time. Okay, I can auto number it, and 
and then press return to accept it or to number so all I'm doing is stepping through these and creating my configurations in the database now the beauty of this is we can uh, search by part number uh, inside DDM uh, and use proper part numbers on bills and materials etc so nearly finished and the last one is the preview which I don't actually need so because I don't need the preview I'm going to uh, jump back into the database there's my confirmation that everything has been saved I'm going to jump back into DDM and this is my working folder so the first thing I can do is delete the preview which isn't needed okay uh, and then what I want to do is, here is my, in fact I'm going to adjust the properties of this because I want to call this the default configuration. This is the default configuration. Okay. <coughs> so, I'm going to choose all of these. The next thing I want to do is to add them to one of my categories. I'm going to add them to the angled section category so it makes it nice and easy to find in the future a bit like the toolbox um, and then what I want to do is change the status of these parts so I'm going to take them from work in progress and I'm going to move them to a release state so people can't accidentally overwrite or modify because these are standard uh, standard components okay if I look down in my category browser if I search for purchase parts, fixing, structural members, angled section, what we now have is uh, we now have the uh, all of the parts that have been created. You can see this is the top file which is the uh, the main SOLIDWORKS file and these are all my configurations stored within it. Okay.